Next in the tank is a productivity tool when working from home. Shocks! I'm Steve Skillings from New England. I'm the CEO of BusyBox, and we're here seeking 200,000 for 15% of the company. Sharks, are you tired of accidental interruptions ruining your meetings and your focus? Hey, Steve, you busy? Oh, oh yeah, oh, I'm in a meeting. Man. Sorry. Hey, not go. Oh, what was I saying? Meeting focus. Oh, meeting focus. Sharks, at the beginning of the pandemic, my house turned into a four-person work from home space, and accidental interruptions were a constant problem. Being an inventor type, I set out to fix it. That's why we invented BusyBox, the first data sign made for work from home professionals. To use it, you simply mount it on your door, you connect it to our app, and you can change the lighting and brightness. All right, I want to get your your feedback, Matt, first on that busy box. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I like the name actually. Um, I think it's highly suggestive of what the product actually does. You know, I see we see a lot of really crappy names on Shark Tank for for products and services, but you know, busy box is it's a pretty good name, right? It's kind of catchy. It's got that alliteration, buh, buh, you know, busy box. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's highly suggestive of what the product actually does. And once you hear what the product is, you're like, oh, I get it. He's busy, right? And it's a little box. I'm like, it's a busy box. Thanks. So I, I like the name. It's registered. So they did a good job with that. Um, cool. Yeah. What about the patent side of things? Patent side. It was patent pending at the time of the presentation, and I, did, I could not find a patent granted. Um, they likely went into some major issues on 101 eligibility. It's really a method for organizing human activity. Um, it's likely a method because the boxes like that exist, right? Lights and, you know, letters and numbers, uh, even battery operated that aren't necessarily requiring a hard wire. It's not novel. So they probably had to go after some method and made it specific to, you know, work from home type of environments. And that unfortunately is not eligible because it's, it's abstract. It's more just organization of what's already happening. So that's likely what happened with them. Um, but, uh, and then that price point was way high, but really they high. with sales. Um, ben, I want to get your opinion on on that product and maybe what uh, what stood out to you. Oh, I agree. The price point seems really high. I think it could be. I, I mean, I could see somebody buying it for a partner or something like that as a gift. So it's it's semi interesting, but I, I mean, it's it's hard for me to imagine it just really taking off at that price point. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, as someone who works from home, like, like me, like, right. They have the kids and, and my wife outside the office. It would be nice. Like that's kind of a cool little device. I like it. It's kind of not, you know, not nice novelty, but I'd pay 50 bucks for it max. Yeah. I agree. None of the sharks bit. Um, so they walked away without an investment. Um, they were worried that the, the, um, the two guys, they did present sort of this additional version that would kind of allude to workplace productivity and try to enhance, you know, the, the way that people are working and, you know, so you wouldn't knock on doors and that type of thing and be more productive. But that didn't really sell very well because it was just, it's all about just communicating wh whether you're available or not. Um, so is they this like the adult version of putting a sock on the door when you're in college? <laughs> is, that, is that what this is? Um, well, that's a, that's a different type of work and that's for a different type okay. of work. Um, <laughs> I think, the, I mean, busy. Right, busy is is definitely the overall theme, um, but you're right. That would be a much more uh, cost-effective approach. <laughs> so, 